In tonight's Health Watch, there could be a major advance towards a cure for diabetes. Mount Sinai researchers are reporting on a drug cocktail that helps the body make more insulin-producing cells. Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us why that's a critical part of a cure to diabetes, doctor. That's right. And you know, there's type 1 and type 2 diabetes, and they're really different diseases. But what they have in common is that, they eventually, is that eventually the diabetic runs out of insulin-producing cells called beta cells. That's when their blood sugar soars. So part of a diabetes cure has to be replacing or making more beta cells. I was very tired, very hungry, thirsty all the time. Alex Seaman didn't realize it, but those are all classic signs of the type 1 diabetes she was diagnosed with 19 years ago. Today, she wears an insulin pump and a continuous glucose monitor, but managing her diabetes is still a huge chore. I test my blood sugar six times a day. I have to count every single carbohydrate I eat, tell my pump that I ate that. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system is destroying Alex's insulin-making beta cells. A number of researchers are making progress towards shutting down that autoimmune destruction. But in order to make enough insulin to control blood sugar, a diabetic would still have to replace the beta cells. Some scientists are trying transplants or stem cells, but... Those probably aren't applicable on a scale of millions and millions of people. So Dr. Andrew Stewart reasoned that if both type 1 and type 2 diabetics still have some beta cells, even after many years, maybe there are medications that could induce those remaining cells to multiply and regenerate. We've now identified two families of drugs that are able to increase the beta cell replication from around 2% per day. And in some pancreatic islet preparations we get, we can get it up to 15% or 18%. And in a major new study, Dr. Stewart argues that that's enough to normalize blood sugar in diabetics. The drugs have made human beta cells to replicate in petri dishes, in transplanted mice, and several other ways. If this can be done in people like Alex, it would be a huge advance. I can't even imagine it. It seems so, uh, it's like a dream. Exactly. Now, like all drugs, this cocktail would likely have side effects. So the challenge now is finding a way to deliver the drugs just to the pancreas where the remaining beta cells live. One strategy is to attach the drugs to antibodies or other molecules at home in on markers on beta cells. And we're going to need more beta cells, whether it's a type 1 or type, di type 2 diabetes, because you just don't have enough to make the insulin to keep your blood sugar normal. So this is a big step. It's one part of the big puzzle. Yeah.